This is a video on Bayes rule and Bayesian updating. I'm Chandra Sripati. Bayes rule. One way to put it is it takes you on a journey from where you are to where you want to go. So you start out by assigning some probabilities to some hypotheses, you see some new data, and then you update the probabilities assigned to these hypotheses. Bayes rule tells you how you should do the updating. Um, this video has uh, three parts. This video is about preliminaries, probability, conditional probability, and probability distributions. Uh, and there's two more parts that occur after this. Start with unconditional probability. Suppose I roll a pair of fair six-sided dice. What is the probability that I get snake eyes? It's 1 over 36. This poses a question about unconditional probability. <clears throat> I write it this way. It's the probability of snake eyes equals 1 over 36. Now turn to conditional probability. Suppose I roll each die in sequence and the first just landed on 1. What is the probability that I get snake eyes now, given that the first die has landed on 1? This poses a question about conditional probability. And the answer, of course, is 1 sixth. And I write it this way, the probability of snake eyes. And here's the important part. This bar means given that the first die landed on 1, well, that probability is 1 sixth. Now we'll turn to probability distributions. Latin H, written here, is a set of mutually exclusive and jointly exhaustive hypotheses. For example, here Latin H contains the hypothesis it's raining or it's not raining. Here, Latin H contains the coin land, land's heads or the coin land's tails. <clears throat> Here's a third example. Um, here, Latin H contains less than 4, 4, or greater than 4 as the outcome of a roll of a fair six-sided die. A probability distribution over Latin uh, H, written pi Latin H, assigns probabilities to the hypotheses in Latin H. So, for example, um, the hypothesis it's raining or it's not raining, pi assigns 0.2 to it's raining, 0.8 to it's not raining. For this pair, pi assigns 0.5 to heads and 0.5 to tails. For this trio, pi assigns less than 4 to 0.5, 4 to 0.17, and greater than 4 to 0.33. You'll notice that there are constraints to the assignment of probabilities. Intuitively, the way this works, you can think of it as if there's one unit of probability cola in total, and it gets distributed over your hypothesis cups. You have to use one unit of the cola, all of the one unit of the cola, and you can't use more than one unit. You'll notice that this idea, um, these constraints are obeyed for the probability assignments shown here. Okay, that completes this first video in the three-part series. In the next video, we'll turn to updating probability distributions using an intuitive example.